All right, in this example, we're going to start looking at uh, some, some problems involving uh, division of two numbers. So uh, kind of the basic idea is in all of these as well. What we're going to do is we're going to rewrite things, and we're going to get rid of the decimal place in whatever we're dividing by. So to start off by doing that, well, we can write 94 divided by 0 0.25 as you know, just our, uh, with a division instead of, uh, you know, the division sign, we can use the little division bar. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the decimal place in the denominator. So what I would like to do is move it two places to the right, and then in a sense it would be gone. Well, I'm going to do that by multiplying by an appropriate number. So to move it two decimal places, it, well, let me say, if you multiply by 10, it moves it one decimal place. If we multiply by 100, it'll move the decimal place twice. But, of course, if we do it in the denominator, we also have to do it in the numerator. So when we do our arithmetic, well, 94 times 100 is 9400. And then, uh, again, we said when we multiply 0 0.25 by 100, that's just going to move the decimal place two places. So, okay, equivalently, we have 9400 divided by 25. And now I'm just going to do my old long division so let's see, I always think about quarters and money, so let's see. Um, so I guess uh, we could do 3 times 25, that would give us 75. So let's see, 94 uh, minus 75, let's see, if it was 95, we would get 20, but it's one less, so I guess we'll get 19. Then we'll drop down our 0. So let's see, I think if we had um, 7 quarters, 7 times 25 would be 175. Okay, and again, we can just do our subtraction. So, okay, uh, we've got 190 minus 175. That'll leave us with 15. And again, if we drop down our 0, 25 will go into 150 exactly 6 times. Um, 6 times 25, again, is 150. So we don't have any remainder. So it says if we do 94 divided by 0 0.25, we'll be left with 376.